Today, I want to show you how I personally make money blogging and how you can as well. This over here is my blogging revenue from display ads. I also make money from my blog using affiliate revenue. Here is just one example of the programs I promote. And step one, if you want to start a successful blog is to find a niche for your blog. One of my favorite ways to find a niche is to Google for blog income reports. You'll find lots of income reports that are shared by bloggers from various niches. Let's open this up. And here we've got neatly categorized list of different blogging niches with subcategories. And you can go through this and get an idea on what kind of niches, what kind of blogs other people start. And when you read the actual income reports, you can quite often get very good idea on how much ads pay in this niche or what are the different ways that these blogs actually make money. And there are literally hundreds of blog income reports that you can find on Google. So after going through several of them, you may find a great idea for a niche. I have a dedicated video that covers my process for niche selection in detail. So you can go and click the link in the description below and watch that video, but only do this after you finish this video so that you've got an overall understanding of the system. Now let's move on to step two. Step two, once you've chosen your niche is to set up your website. And for that, I highly recommend my favorite hosting provider, cloudways.com. You can find the discounted link to Cloudways just in the description of this video. Cloudways is the fastest hosting provider that I've personally used. I run all of my websites on Cloudways. And the cool thing is that they actually give you a completely free trial for three days. You don't even need to enter a credit card. Cloudways is all about performance. You also get instant chat support, really, really good high quality and fast support, which is important. And the other thing that's really, really good is that Cloudways is actually a dedicated cloud hosting, which means that you get your own cloud server, which is not shared with any other websites. So it's extremely fast and you get it for a really good price, which starts at just $11 per month. But if you use my discount link, you're actually going to get a discount even off that price. So to make sure that you get the discount, just click the link in the description below. You land on a page like this. If you're not sure which plan you need, just go for the cheapest one. You can always upgrade later. And then on this page, just make sure for promo code, you enter my promo code, check the links in the description below. Uh, at the moment, the best promo code that I've got is CB25. So that'll get you a 25% discount for the first three months. You'll need to verify the account via email. Once you've done that, you land on a page like this. If you're not sure about the configuration, as I mentioned, just go for one gigabyte digital ocean. That'll give you the cheapest plan about the location. If you're not sure, just go for New York. That's totally fine and click launch now. While the server is getting configured, it's time to get your domain name. So you can go to Namecheap and buy your domain there. Let's say you've chosen your blog to be in the travel niche. Let's see if Slow Travel Pro is available. You'll see some suggestions. So we've got slowtravelpro.pro.org.bot.net. It really does not matter which extension you get. Probably the best and most recognizable extension, of course, is .com, but unfortunately it's not available. However, you can see if we try slowtravelpros.com, then we can see that .com is available. So I'm going to grab that, but you can literally choose any of these extensions for your domain. All right. So our domain purchase is complete. So you land on a page similar to this. So just click manage to start managing your domain. Let's go back to Cloudways and check if our server has been configured and yes, it has. So now click on your server. From here, you can manage your server. And if you need to fine tune any settings, this is where you would be doing this from. But if you don't know what any of this is, don't worry, because Cloudways actually sets everything up for you the way that it should be. It's only if you need to fine tune something. So then click here, servers at the top and go to the applications tab. Application is what is going to be your website. So your website is an application on the server. So from here, let's click on your application. And first thing we'll want to do is go to domain management. This is where we're going to be linking this new domain that we bought to our application. Okay, so let's click add domain. So we will want to grab this and enter it here. And we'll want to also repeat this with a www dot twice like this and click save changes. Now let's make the primary one to be slowtravelpros.com. So click this and click make primary. Okay, this is done. So let's go back into the Namecheap panel and let's now click advanced DNS. If you have something that says CNAME record, you can delete it. Let's add a new CNAME record. So click CNAME. Let's add www. And then under target, let's add slowtravelpros.com. This is just a redirect in case someone goes to www version of the domain, they'll be redirected back to the main version of your site. So we can now click save changes here. And the next thing we'll want to do is to add the A record for host. 
put this symbol here. And for IP address, we'll want to get the IP address from our server. So just jump back over here and under access details, go to where it says public IP and copy this and then get back over to here and enter value and now click save changes. So these two records will link your Namecheap account and slowtravelpros.com to the application and the server on Cloudways. If you have this URL redirect record, you can get rid of it. So just click here and delete record, yes. The other critical thing that we'll need to do is to install SSL certificate. So this is to prevent any security issues on your site. So where it says let's encrypt, this is exactly the one that you want. Enter your email address and then enter the domain name. So we're gonna do one for slowtravelpros.com. We're gonna click add domain and we're gonna add the www version as well. After you've done that, click install certificate. Okay, so our certificates are now installed. Make sure that you've got the auto renewal ticked. Let's now go back to where it says access details and let's preview our website. And there you go. The shell of our website is ready. You can see slowtravelpros.com and you'll see some placeholder content. To log into the backend area of the website so you can start customizing it, you can use this link here that ends with wp-admin and this is gonna be your username and password to actually log into the backend. And there we go. We are logged in to the backend area of our website and to start creating content, you can go to posts, and you will see all of your posts that are posted on your website over here. To start managing pages, you can click pages and you'll see all of the pages here on the left-hand side. If you go into the settings area, then you can change the site title, enter the title and the tagline over here and click save. The other very important thing is to go to permalinks and just make sure that you've got post names selected. Next, let's talk about what kind of content will you post and how do you get the traffic? The first traffic source that's been working amazingly well for me for over 10 years now is Google search. How does this work? Well, quite often when people are interested in a topic, they will use Google search. So for example, they might type in something like, are there sharks in Lake Tahoe into their Google search? And then when they scroll down, they will usually click one of these articles and you'll see that one of the website that comes up for it is my website here, Travel Croc. So they'll click on it, the website will get opened and the person that's reading this site, you can see this is the photos of me and my wife and our business partners over here. And the, the visitor will generally scroll through this site. They'll take a look at all of these images and the information, the whole blog post, but you'll see that there are ads on the website. So on our site, we're monetizing it with different ads. These are Mediavine ads. So basically anyone who clicks on this ad is going to earn us money. We don't need to sell anything. No one needs to buy anything. These are purely people who are browsing our website. And if they manage to click on any of these ads, we're going to get paid a certain amount of money. So then of course the question is, well, what do you need to do in order to find out what kind of keyword terms you can target, how do you create content, and how can you start getting this traffic and making this money? Well, for that, I recommend that you use a keyword research tool such as SEM Rush. You can actually sign up for a 14 day free trial of SEM Rush if you'd like to, just click the link in the description below. If you use my link, you actually get two weeks of free trial instead of the standard one week. So SEM Rush is a really good tool and once you're in the tool, just go to Keyword Magic on the left-hand side. And there is a ton of different ways to use this to actually find great keywords. I'm gonna put a link in the description to my full tutorial on how to find keywords. I'm gonna keep this video very short and focused. So I'll show you one way to use SEMrush to find keywords. And we'll just type in what I like to call a seed phrase, are there in lake. Okay, and what this is going to do is, is it's gonna give us all the different keywords that contain these four keywords in them. So to look for all of the phrases that contain these four words. So let's just now click search and look at this. We've got 3,877 key phrases that contain are there in lake. And what you'll want to now look at is this parameter here called KD percentage. So KD stands for keyword difficulty and you'll generally want to target keywords that have got a green keyword difficulty. So if you see green, like here are there alligators in Lake Norman. That generally means that there is very little competition for this term. So if you publish an article on this keyword, you'll have a really good chance of ranking on page one of Google. And look how many green terms there are. There are tons and tons for just one seed key phrase. There's even one with 
keyword difficulty seven, which is extremely easy. So if we take this and search for the ski phrase in Google with the quotation marks on each side to look for this exact phrase, you'll see there's actually only one result in the whole of internet, there's only one website that has published an article on other alligators in Beaver Lake, Arkansas. So definitely if you create an article on this, this is like a super easy one to rank for. So let's say we wanted to create an article on other alligators in Beaver Lake, Arkansas. The best way to do this is to, of course, write this article manually. So just do some research uh, on this topic read as many sources as you can maybe take a look at what some other websites have done what kind of content they've written like this is seems here like a pretty solid pretty good article and you can basically just rewrite this article in your own words a second way is to use chat gpt so just go to chatgpt.com this is the command i'll give chat gpt i'll give you an article i want you to rewrite it in a similar style make it personal let's now copy this whole article or you can copy bits and pieces of different other articles and just paste it in here now guys i just want to make sure that you know that this is not my preferred way of creating content okay you can do this just to kind of like come up with a draft of some sort but you shouldn't really be stealing so to speak other people's content but what you can do is you can combine maybe 10 or 20 or 30 different sources into one then it becomes a little bit less obvious that you've actually borrowed from other people's content now chat gpt is actually going to be rewriting this anyway and after this i recommend that you take this content and you just edit it manually yourself maybe in a google doc to make sure that you are completely comfortable with what it says check all the facts because you're going to be putting this on your own blog but this is just a way to speed up content creation that i wanted to share with you if you're going to go down the road of using chat gpt to create the content make sure that you take that content and then you humanize it so you can use any of these services there are both paid and free services you want to make sure that you bypass ai detection so that's why you either use one of these services or you take this content and edit it yourself rewrite parts of it yourself once you have created several of these articles it's time to monetize your blog these ads that you see on our website on travelcroc.com they're from mediavine ads but to get into mediavine ads you actually need to have 50,000 monthly visitors onto your website which is not going to happen straight away so when you're first starting out i recommend that you use a company called ezoic and ezoic don't have any minimum traffic requirements sign up for ezoic and they actually have a service where they will help you install the ads onto your your website so that you can start earning something their earnings are actually quite good media vine can pay anywhere between 20 to 60 dollars per 1000 visitors and ezoic is a little bit lower in my experience but it's still quite good it's not uncommon to get five to about 25 dollars per 1000 visitors on ezoic now there are two other ways to earn from your blog and i'm going to place the links to my full tutorials about those two methods into the description just below this video if you'd like to learn two more ways to monetize your blog with affiliate links as well as another way then go ahead and watch those videos and don't forget to grab your free access to my training course. Just go to fastervideos.com or click the links in the description below. You land on this page, enter your email and click get, get instant access button and you'll be redirected to the page where you can grab your access.